What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can get a ton of different points and complete how to get coins challenge in the new NBA crossover Court Crashers. So as you can see right here, if I just go ahead and then change to duo so I can see my challenges, I have actually completed 29 out of the 30 coins. I backed out because I didn't want to fully complete the challenge because I want to show you guys what you can do. So just change to the Court Crashers ready up and then after a couple of seconds you're going to be loaded in. Alright, so now we're loaded in right here, and as you can see, I completed the challenge for getting coins just by loading in alone. So loading in alone will give you just one coin, but what you're going to want to do is take your shockwave bow, aim in front of you, and you're going to go blasting. So you want to hit this first bouncer right here, use one flintlock, and then hit the second bouncer. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit that, and then use another flintlock. Now if you're able to go in just from one, that's okay, but you might need to use two. And the reason I'm going for the blue hoop instead of the much larger larger and easier to get green, red, or orange is because it gives you way more points than they do, like surprisingly so. Like pretty much if you don't go for the blue hoop, you're gonna die. But pretty much, yeah, just aim the shockwave bow in front of you. You want to blast forward, and this is going to give you some momentum to hit this bouncer. And now you can actually just use your shockwave bow if you want instead of the flintlock. And then reload. It's honestly up to you whichever is easiest. So as you can see, I got another blue hoop and the blue team is winning right now, which is the team that I'm on. So that's how you're going to be getting a ton of score in this and it's super easy once you get the hang of it. And yeah, every time you hit inside the hoop, you're going to get one point. And occasionally there are going to be some objectives right here or little things that spawn on the side beside the boost pads. Those are actually coins as well, so if you're able to like get in that trail and collect all of them, you're pretty much going to complete the challenge in one game. Okay, so as you can see right now, it says the bank is open, so I'm just going to go ahead and respawn to show you guys what that is. So airball is going to be one point, and that'll be one coin. So as you can see right here, these little objectives right here that I'm collecting, those are all coins. So you're going to want to go ahead and then grab those. And then obviously going inside of here and collecting all these little coins inside. This is also going to count as a coin. It doesn't matter what hoop you go in, the blue hoop is just going to get you the most points. As you can see, the yellow gave me 7, as the blue would give me 50. But yeah, that's, that's literally all you have to do for this challenge. It's super easy, there's literally nothing hard about it. As you can see, we're at 1000 points right now, and the red team is on 385, solely because they're going not for the blue. So that's how you're going to be winning this, and obviously the coins are just like a side thing that you can do while winning. And yeah, I hope this video was useful, and it helped you guys out with the challenge to get 50,000 XP. And after all that's being said, I'll see you guys in my next video.